Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game of Thrones Ascent. This is a browser game currently in open beta, based around the book series A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones. While it has many features, I'd like to keep to the basics and just give you guys an overhaul on what the game is about. Now, due to the nature of the game and the amount of waiting time that is involved, I will not be doing a series on this because it is technically impossible, but that doesn't mean that I can't show you what it is and recommend it to you. It is very fun and I've had quite an enjoyable time playing it so far. Now, one of the first things you're going to be doing is making your own custom banner. You can do this in many different ways, including shape, pattern, and layout. Now, while these options may be limited, it is after all beta, and I'm sure when the full version is complete and all the kinks are worked out, there will be many more options. You can change the color, rotation, and pretty much anything you can think of, almost. Once again, the options may be rather limited in the beta, but I'm sure that will change with time. And here we have your character's many stats. From achievements, stats themselves, battle, intrigue, and trade, packs and power, including marriage alliances, your character himself, including your holdings, your titles, which can vary when you go down through the storyline and achieve more titles. Now, you can sway yourself to either of the great houses, including Stark, Lannister, Baratheon, Greyjoy. And you can choose your heritage. Personally, I chose Hedge Knight. You can also be a great bastard, adopted noble, uh, mercenary, uh, master of whispers, many different things. You can also choose your alignment, which you choose by conversation choices, where the old gods or the new ways and the seven, whether you favorite the realm first or your family first, whether you're cunning or truthful. You've also got your basic equipment. Now you can buy these or achieve them through certain quests. Like for this bow here, for instance, I got the Werewolf bow from one of the recent quests. All of these increase certain stats that make your character more powerful. Now you've also got talents, which you gain once every level after level 5, I believe. You've got one for each fealty that you swear to, Stark, Lannister. Each of them give you different talents, depending on what house you've sworn your loyalty to. You've also got Greyjoy, Baratheon, and Targaryen. Now Targaryen's quite interesting because they're not actually in Westeros yet. You've also got Battle, obviously. Now you've got three different categories for each battle, trade, and intrigue. You've got battle, uh, fight, harass, aid, barter, swindle, and bribe. If intrigue, you've got spy, sabotage, and steal. You can set up your companions to do either of these as you see fit. Now over the course of the game, you slowly build up your keep to become more powerful. You've got your counting house, your keep itself, which you can change to whatever you feel free to. You've got the smithy the village center, the marketplace, the embassy, the sept, the godswood, workshop, and holdfast. If you're wondering why it goes black like that, once again, beta. Workshop, holdfast again, treasury. Now these ones here with the say talent next to it are provided by swearing loyalty to a certain house. I get hunting lodge because I sweared my loyalty to house Stark. Targaryen gets the treasury room, Lannister gets the mines, and Greyjoy gets the shipyard. I believe Baratheon gets the feast. As you go up in level, you unlock more possible buildings to build. Now here you've got the story chapters. I have no idea how long this is, I'm nowhere near the end. You've got the many different quests to make up certain factions and chapters. You've also got rewards that you can choose at the end of the completion of these quests. I imagine they get more powerful as you go down the road. Now you've also got the bonus goals, which will give you this extra item here upon completion. Now during quests, you'll have multiple different choices. These choices are not redoable, you cannot save. And sometimes choices can lead you to complete an open war with your neighbors. Here's where you recruit your sworn swords, which act in the way of companions doing quests for you and objectives gaining you XP and gear. 
You can also send ravens out to your friends. This can go from as far as requesting for help from quests, giving them items, or proposing marriage alliances. You can also go as far as to join an alliance, or even make your own. These alliances can be fealtied and sworn to House Stark, Lannister, Greyjoy, Targaryen, or Baratheon, or even have no banner at all. These alliances act as a sort of guild. Power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick, a shadow on the wall, and a very small man can cast a very large shadow. This is the power rating scoreboard. This shows you what nobles are winning the Game of Thrones and how far you are away from winning it yourself. And after all, you win or you die. I would like to take these last few seconds to explain to everybody that it is in a beta stage of development, which means on occasion the servers may be taken down for maintenance. This is a fact that you accept when you play a game that is in beta. Other than that, I have very much enjoyed the time I've spent trying to uh, become the best in Westeros. Many quests give you the opportunity to interact with main characters from the story. One quest allowed me to talk to Jon Snow before he went to the Wall. Other quests have allowed me to accuse the Kingslayer of incest. And at some point during the game, you get to slap Joffrey across the face. For all of these reasons and more, I highly recommend giving the game a chance. Personally, under normal circumstances, I stay the hell away from Facebook and its games, or any kind of social media website that has these browsing games. But in this case, after giving it a try, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. It is an excellent way to burn some time, especially for me when I'm editing videos. And I can honestly say, despite the fact that it's on Facebook, I have enjoyed it very much. That's all for now. Soul out.